Eric Brown, número 5. Chongo Cruz in the white trunks. And the two-to-one underdog in red is Frankie Baldazar Jr. But as we begin round number five, no knockdowns. Baldazar may have won all of the first four rounds. He may have. The only official opinions come from judges. Vince Delgado, Richard Steele, referee Rudy Jordan. By the way, Rudy is carrying a wireless mic. Saque la mano, saque la mano, let him go. We'll pick up Rudy's comments. Baldazar's hands too fast and too accurate for Chango Cruz. If Baldazar goes on to score an upset, and we got a long way to go, a minute and a half left in the fifth round of a scheduled 10 runner. But if Baldazar goes on to score an upset, it might be a while before Match Don Chargin can find an opponent for him. Fighters don't like left-handers, southpaws in the first place, and after a, a doubly flashy performance like this from Baldazar, I don't know who's going to want to get in with him. He might have to go in a little over his head. For the first time, Baldazar is shaken. And it might have been a couple of body shots that did it. 50 seconds, 5 0. -oh. Well, I hope I didn't jinx Baldazar about the time I started talking about an upset. 30 seconds. The body shots from Cruz began to catch up with Baldazar. And nothing Watch will it. slow you down like rips to the bottom. So the fight may have turned around in the final minute and 15 seconds of round number five. Trainer Johnny Flurry sends Frankie Baldazar Jr., a Catholic boy, out for the sixth round of a scheduled 10 runner. Nobody has been down, but in the final minute and 15 seconds of round number five, White Trunk Chungo Cruz seemed to turn it around with body shots that for the first time slowed down Baldazar and may have given Cruz his first round in this fight. seemed very high on the forehead and I think it just knocked Cruz off balance. His knees buckled, he bobbled backwards, but I think it just knocked him off balance because the punch was so high on the forehead it couldn't possibly have done that kind of damage. Two minutes left. Baldazar shows signs of slowing down a little. Cruz does not show signs of slowing down. Now, like a pitcher at baseball getting a little tired, Baldazar is starting to get a little wild with his punches. I'm not push. Right cross by Cruz to the chin of Baldazar. 
And from Cruz corner to big man Harry Kabakoff. Jess Pimentel stand up and wave Cruz on. Instead, Cruz has flopped back toward his own corner. seconds you get the suspicion and it's only that since we've never seen Cruz fight in the United States before that he is more patient than his corner that he figures he may out condition out stamina Baldazar and come on in the later rounds and nail Baldazar Cruz still seems quite unworried even though he's apparently well behind on points he might have lost five of the first six rounds Frankie Baldazar Jr. in the red trunks, the white boxing shoes. Nobody's been down in this fight, but Baldazar, after running into a little trouble for the first time in round five, apparently came back to win round six, and he might have won. Red trunk Frankie Baldazar, the two to one underdog going in five out of the first six rounds so far. That's just one opinion. I'd like to get another opinion from the boxing editor of the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, Jack Disney. How do you have it scored coming to the seventh? I also have given uh, Balazar five of the six rounds, Jim. Well, just two opinions, unofficial, but opinions. We can't get the opinions of the judges and the referee, obviously. That's hush hush. Well, quite an upset it would be. Two minutes left, round seven. behind the left by Baldazar, but it landed on the nose and nudged Cruz off balance. Minute and a half left, round seven. Cuidado, that's your head, okay? Los dos, cuidado con la cabeza. Mucha bonita. I couldn't hear. Did referee Jordan, could we pick up what he said? All right, break. Rudy Jordan break. is worried Step with her heads in tight. One of them might butt the other's eye open. Oh, the right hand buckled through. One minute left, round seven. Did you see Cruz wobble when he was pushed away by Baldazar? Cruz's legs are a little unsteady right now. Cruz legs. Uh, get your hand the, out. Uh, uh, break. Getting a little well jello like here in the seventh round. Now well, we remarked near the end of the sixth round that Cruz wasn't panicking. He was still patient. Thought he still had time to get Baldazar. But I think now in the seventh right, round, break. Cruz realizes he has probably lost six out of seven rounds and time is running down on him. Round seven. Frank Baldazar Jr. in the red trunks and in white is Chong Go Cruz. Nobody has been down. But Baldazar might have won six of the first seven rounds of this fight as the two to one underdog. I underline the word might because that is a highly unofficial opinion. It means nothing.
Maggie Baldessar facing the red drugs have never been more than seven rounds in his career. He's in well into the eighth round now, less than two minutes, and he's still fresh and moving. That is a well-conditioned fighter. And he's only 18 years old, Frank Baldessar. Jungle Cruz in white is 21. <laughs> 